So we're here today for the second event in our IQVIA London Healthcare Awareness Series, which is focusing on rare diseases. Our speakers today are NHS England's first ever Chief Scientific Officer, Professor Dame Sue Hill. So there's a lot more work that we need to do together, and partnership is the critical term in terms of rare diseases, whether it's between industry, whether it's between the NHS, whether it's the voluntary sector, whether it's with academia. Dr Larissa Karachuk, who established the world world's first ever paediatric children's rare disease hospital and Jane Spink who is the CEO of Genetic Alliance which is an umbrella organisation representing over 200 uh, rare disease and syndromes without a name or SWAN conditions uh, in the UK. I think the UK is a real world leader in rare diseases. I mean, it's got the first paediatric rare disease centre and the first adult rare disease centre, both in Birmingham. And of course, it's got such a fantastic industry and uh, a collaborative uh, input from companies like IQVIA and from uh, universities and researchers. So I think, yeah, I think the UK is a fantastic place to be. We have a fantastic NHS, which is really geared up um, to deliver rare disease research and care. We have a government which has placed a premium on innovation in relation to rare diseases and genomics, as well as a fantastic third sector who inform and support patients and their families who are affected by rare and genetic conditions. So we have everything it takes to um, provide excellence in terms of moving forward with new advances for rare diseases. Fewer than 10% um, of the rare diseases have actually got any treatments, and most of those are ad adult treatments. So actually, we need to work a lot harder with patients, with industry and with companies like IQVIA to move the research forward so that we get a better development of not only medication but technologies and things that make life easier for patients and their families. It's complicated, there are challenges, it's good to have a hub where people have come together and see all their different work streams and also where we've had some great external speakers come in. It's been amazing to see how we're working with them in the wider environment in rare disease. It's not just my professional role here at IQVIA. I'm also motivated by rare disease because my daughter has a rare disease. Um, and myself and my wife, who's a community paediatrician, have been through that diagnostic journey as well. And it really makes us feel useful to know that we can also contribute that personal journey to the company as well and make sure it's a very real entity with the work that we're doing here. Thank mm -hmm. you.